Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Cathedral Church of All Saints, Halifax, and to our service of morning prayer for Wednesday, April 27, 2022. The form of worship is found starting on page 47 of the Book of Alternative Services. Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever, world without end. Amen. Alleluia! The Lord is risen indeed. O come, let us worship. Alleluia! Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast, not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia! Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Alleluia! Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man comes also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive. Alleluia. The psalm for today is Psalm 150, the last psalm in the Psalter. Psalm 150. Hallelujah. Praise God in his holy temple. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him for his excellent greatness. Praise him with the blast of the ram's horn. Praise him with lyre and harp. Praise him with timbrel and dance. Praise him with strings and pipe. Praise him with resounding cymbals. Praise him with loud clanging cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Hallelujah. A reading from the eighth chapter of the book of the Acts of the Apostles. An angel of the Lord said to Philip, get up and go toward the south to the road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. This is a wilderness road. So Philip got up and went. Now there was a Ethiopian eunuch, a court official of the Candace, queen of the Ethiopians, in charge of her entire treasury. He had come to Jerusalem to worship and was returning home, seated in his chariot. He was reading the prophet Isaiah. Then the spirit said to Philip, go over to this chariot and join it. So Philip ran up to it and heard him reading the prophet Isaiah. He asked, do you understand what you are reading? The eunuch replied, how can I unless someone guides me? And he invited Philip to get in and sit beside him. Now, the passage of the scripture that he was reading was this. Like a sheep, he was led to the slaughter, and like a lamb, silent before his shearer. So he does not open his mouth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today's poem is titled The Divine Image and is taken from the collection of poems by William Blake called Songs of Innocence. The Divine Image. To mercy, pity, peace, and love all pray in their distress, and to these virtues of delight return their thankfulness. For mercy, pity, peace, and love is God our Father dear. And mercy, pity, peace, and love is man, his child in care. For mercy has a human heart, pity a human face, and love the human form divine, and peace the human dress. 
Then every man of every clime that prays in his distress, prays to the human form divine, love, mercy, pity, peace. And all must love the human form, must love no matter who. Where mercy, love, and pity dwell, there God is dwelling too. We now recite the Shema. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first and the great commandment. The second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. Let us pray. Maker of the universe, source of all life, give us grace to serve you with our whole heart that we may faithfully perform your will and joyfully participate in your creation to the praise and glory of your name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Collect. Almighty and eternal God, the strength of those who believe and the hope of those who doubt, may we who have not seen have faith and receive the fullness of Christ's blessing, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever, amen. And in closing, we say, Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia.